This is River Talks with Jonathan Brush, President and CEO of Unbound. Welcome back to this fifth episode in the series that we've been doing here recently on what it means to thrive. In our first episode, we talked about the definition of thrive and what we mean by that. In the second episode, we talked about knowing how to thrive means being able to own your purpose. Then we talked about being able to serve others. In the last episode, we talked about healthy relationships. And in this episode, we're going to talk about creating value. And this is all in the context of what it means to, to live a life where you thrive, but also more specifically in the context of what it means to live a life, to, to be able to train for a life where you thrive. At Unbound, we say that our mission is to, to train young adults to thrive. And so with a specific focus on this transition from young adulthood into full adulthood, although I think these things are universal. And the whole point of this series is to say that so often we have a culture that defines success as some version of being rich, famous, or powerful. And we just kind of categorically reject that and say that those things are not bad things and that's just to the point that it's possible for you to be those things, that's fantastic. But we have to think about something bigger. We have to think about something a little bit more holistic and honestly, I think healthier in terms of what would it mean to live a meaningful life? And for us, that means this definition of what it means to thrive. And in comes this idea of creating value. I will use the term creating value or how to create value because I want to say more than just earn a living. So certainly all of us have to earn a living. We have to bring in income and there's bills that we need to pay. And so often we get wrapped around the details of that. And we sort of trend into this to be successful means to be rich in some fashion. But ultimately, I would argue to be successful and, and, and more importantly, to be successful with the right attitude and with the right context means to be able to understand how to create value. And so the thesis here is that when we're talking about how does one get paid, you get paid for one thing and one thing only, that you create value for somebody else. And so this hinges back to our previous episode. We talked about healthy relationships. Time and tasks only make sense in the context of relationships. In other words, it, to create value means that you have to do something that benefits another person and that that person is then willing to compensate you for that benefit. And so you can just boil this down to the very simplest. You know, at, at the very earliest stages here, we trade our time to somebody else in order for them to pay us and we do something, but we're creating value where we're, we're giving our time instead of somebody else's time. And so, you know, if, if your job is to sweep the floor somewhere and you get paid for that, then you're trading your time to push a broom. And the value that you're creating is not just clean floors for the establishment that you're working for, but you're also giving time back to the person who doesn't have to sweep the floors and can do something else. And then as you go on in life, hopefully you kind of build on that to the point where you're creating value by you know, inventing things or creating things or, or building things that create value for other people. And then the scale goes up from there. But at some level, we have to start at those basics. And if we tell young people, you need to know how to make money, then it's pretty easy for them to translate that to money is a scorecard for my success. And the more money I make, the more successful that I am. And sometimes what happens is they get into these tracks and they go, well, I made money doing X. And then that industry gets uh, disrupted or technology obliterates that, or there's a downsizing movement in the economy and all of a sudden they're laid off. And then their entire worth which was tied to being able to make money in this particular way is destroyed. And that doesn't happen if instead of being trained to make money and be able, instead of being taught that that's the core here, that you're taught that you are, your mission here is to create value. And as Christians, we would say that we are made in the image of God. We talked about that last episode. If we're made in the image of God, then one of God's most noble characteristics is that he is creative. And we can look around creation and see that. And so if we follow a creative God and we're made in the image of a creative God, then we have this wealth of creativity tap into. And that means that there will always be a way to create value. That this is an abundance mindset. That it's not a situation where if I'm gaining resources, that it's a zero-sum game and somebody else is losing resources. That instead, it's this idea that if I create value, there's an infinite amount of value to be created and that there will always be a situation where I create value and that benefits me and it benefits the person I created the value for. And, and I think that foundational idea is the really critical point here. 
that we're looking at this this critical idea, this uh, this notion of abundance, and this notion that you know you have unlimited creativity available to you, which means an unlimited ability to create value, and that when you figure that out, that that's your core thing that you do, that that you get compensated for is creating value. Then it's not about the one way you know how to make money. It's not about one career. It's not about one set of skills. It's about an overall prevailing attitude of being able to create value. And that if you know how to create value, then ultimately you will know how to be successful in the sense that you'll be able to pay your bills, you'll be able to help other people, and all these things will fall together. And they absolutely build. If you understand what your purpose is, it's be- it, then it's easier for you to learn how to create value. If you have an attitude of serving others, then you're going to default to creating value because creating value is ultimately about a win-win situation. If you prioritize relationships, then you will know how to create value because ultimately whatever it is that you're doing has to create value for another person. That's how the definition of value comes about. And so if you are anybody, but particularly if you're a young adult moving into becoming a full adult, in order to thrive, ultimately you have to understand and know how to create value. 